Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show you inside this um, Play Smart alphabet and um, look inside and then I'm gonna give you my uh, honest review of this. So uh, welcome back to my channel, Homeschool in Paradise and welcome if you're new. My name is Magali and I have a four and a six years old and we live in Hawaii. Um, so this Play Smart alphabet, uh, this is the Gakin Work books. Um, so Dimbudoodle sent it to me. If you don't know, I'm part of their blog team and they always send me things so I can try it on with my kids. Um, so this one is age two plus. My daughter who is four years old is doing it. Um, yes, it seems a little bit easy, but she loves it. Um, so if we look inside, uh, these are tracing, coloring, uh, pasting, and matching games. So she's excited to use it. It has some reward stickers on top here. And then these one are stickers that are going to be, example, page 20. Oh, sorry for the glare. 21 um, and then uh, it's gonna start here so it tells you on what to do it says like starting with the finger but honestly like when we did it has all the alphabet but when we're doing like the alphabet here my daughter just trace it because she's four she's older than two years old so she's happy to trace it and then it has some games um, so this one here, you had to cut and then a little blanket. So my daughter loves doing these and then just reviewing um, some the all the alphabet and what it stands for. It has a car for us. We just grabbed the car. Oh, no, it, it was coming. You cut the car here and then you just drive it down. Um, so really nice. Overall, if you're looking for like something really simple for your preschool that you can uh, show the alphabet and then, oh, this one, I messed it up. <laughs> got the wrong thing uh but it's okay it's okay my <laughs> um but yeah just um overall we're really great to be looking at the alphabet and then learning and just tracing and all um and then the games so i'm gonna show you uh with my daughter when she used this and it, yeah if you're looking for something like this for your preschool i mean i would highly recommend it i'm gonna put the link below um of this particular workbook and that you can get it from Timpuroodle. and um i would also i would love to know if you are doing anything for preschool particularly i don't do anything uh, really for preschool uh just my daughter just joins um for kinder for first grade for my son um but when we have these little things my daughter always wants to have books that is just for her so she's excited when i do school with my son then she knows that she can get a book and then i can just do a, like a couple page with her and um i'm spending time with her and she is part of the homeschool uh, uh day so really great book Ici, tu peux marquer la lettre B encore. D for dog, D for dolphin. D for dog. D for dolphin. D for dog. D for dog. Tu peux prendre le collant? Okay, E for egg, elephant. E is for elephant. Color the elephant. Find the letter E, cut along the solid gray line, then fold and create a increase along the dotted line. Have your child fold and unfold the pages while saying whole eggs, cracked eggs, eggs begins with E. Mm -hmm. Trace the letter F. One, two, three, F for flower. F for frog. Okay. So I see. 
use your finger to connect all the frogs from this arrow to the next arrow. Say frog each time you pass on. Frog. And find the letter F in frog. the pictures. The letter F. Right there. Mm -hmm. Try the G and say G. G. G, G for gorilla. G for, G for grapes. grapes. Call it the grapes. G for grapes. G for grapes. Okay, find the letter G. Make the hoo 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 sound a gorilla makes and find the letter G. H for heart. Point to the picture that matches the shadow. That one. Then find the letter H. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trace the shadow with your finger. So thank you so much for being here and then I'll see you next time. Bye.